football. He breaks the plane. Touchdown, tight. The king. Touchdown, tight. They screen it to Henry. He's got some room. 35, 40. Henry, 50. Henry, 40. Henry, 35, 30. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Go! Dive for the end zone. Touchdown, tight. Go! The king has landed in the end zone. Derek, tell me about your leadership style and how it's evolved throughout your time with the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, I'm more of a uh, show you how I work uh, type of leader. I can be vocal when I need to be, um, and when it's time to be. And I think the more experience you get throughout the years, the more you evolve as a leader, um, as a player, and um, trying to be a better teammate as possible to bring the best out of your teammates. <laughs> How much has leadership helped guide this team through maybe some of the valleys? Leadership uh, builds culture, so everyone knows the, the standard and how we want to play. Um, each and every Sunday, how, how, how we want to work when we're out on the field, in the weight room, and then attention to detail um, in the film room, letting me transition. So I think leadership, you know, set the standards for everybody. You're a guy who, because of your performance on the field, guys naturally, it seems, gravitate to you and kind of follow your lead. Is that something you had to learn how to manage and kind of understand throughout your playing career? You know, coming up, uh, playing football, freshman, you know, watching the seniors, and through high school, and then going to college being a freshman, and then getting older and going to be a junior, uh, being one of the leaders, and it starts over when you get to the league, and you just watch the older guys, the vets, and see how they work. And then when your time comes, um, you, you you do the things that you were taught, you know, throughout the years, and as a transition to to your leadership to be able to help younger guys as well. Who are some of the leaders on this team for Derrick Henry? Yeah, I was like I'm Big Jeff, Jeff Simmons. Go with us, bro. Let's go with us. Communicate, have fun, man. See that rock, man. I'm him, man. I'm him. I'm him. DeAndre, who's been a, uh, uh, been a, been a, a great player and a, a big bet. Levis looking to throw it. Throws deep downfield. There's Hopkins all alone. 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, give him 61 yards. Touchdown, Titans. Having Arden Key come here, bring energy. Ah, ah, ah. Take the feel like you mean it. Take the feel like you own it. Having disease and bringing that uh, type of playing style and leadership here. Hey, right here, this is our moment. This is the defining moment in the game. Who gonna be the one to make the play? Yeah, I think we got a group, group of guys that um, are, are great leaders that bring energy and a lot, of, a lot of guys on the team feed off of. When you're in the running backs room, you're working with younger guys, you're working with guys who are kind of in the mid-range of their career. How do you manage wanting to mentor and helping guys, but also recognizing the reality that there's only so many spots to go around? Yeah, just trying to be a resource to them as possible and um, trying to help them in any way possible for everything I've learned to help them grow, be, be a great teammate, and also push them to compete. Lead by how, how I work and then lead by you know trying to help and teach and do anything I can possibly help make them better. Henry on his right here. Gonna give Henry a chance on the left side. Here he goes, the big man. To the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, the king! Touchdown, Titans! That's yes! No, that's not a yes. Hell yes! You're not just a leader within the four walls of Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park, though. You're also a leader within the National Football League. There are a lot of guys around this league that look to you as someone who can help them achieve what they want to do in this league, which is have some real attention. Um, is that a role that you've embraced helping guys not only within the Tennessee Titans, but within the National Football League? Yeah, I think it's always great to have fellowship with um, other great players around the league, and it's always a good time to pick your brain when you're around guys like um, like the Pro Bowl and, and things like that, and just to hear their perspective. And it's always cool to have that fellowship with guys around the league who are great players and also great people. There's really no one else who understands what your day-to-day -day is like and what your world is like than other running backs in the league, right? There's got to be some camaraderie there. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we all have a different playing style, so at the end of the day, it's all about running hard, making guys miss. One cut runs, being physical, um, being out, being able to outrun your opponent. So a lot of similarities in, in, in how we train, so we understand the position. You're also so present in the community, not only in Nashville, but in Uwe, that not only do you want to help guys within the organization, not only do you want to help other running backs, but you also want to help the communities that have given you so much. When you have this platform, you gotta use it um, as much as possible. You know, it's a blessing to be in the spot that I am, and you know, other guys being to play in the league and um, live their dream. And to be blessed, I think you should um, consider blessing others. In year eight, you've done a lot of stuff to get your body where you want it to be. You've learned a lot about maintaining, um, how to adjust throughout a season. What is there left for Derrick Henry to tweak? I feel like there's always room for improvement each and every year, and that's what I try to focus on. Try to be better than the year before, um, elevate your game to another level um, year after year, and I'll always be my focus no matter if I'm at the top or I'm at the bottom. You know, there's always a growth mindset, it's being the best that I can each and every year and being better than the year before. Do you still have things to prove? I still have a lot, a lot to prove, and that's uh, always be on my mind, always uh, fuel me. I never say it, but I just go out there and try to showcase by the way I go out there and play how I work.